yes it is time to move on to our next review and that is <laughs> saturday night now this yes. is based on the book this is directed by jason reitman it tells the story of the 90 minutes leading up to the very first episode 49 years ago this past weekend actually um i think it was october 11th uh is when it premiered on nbc and it was uh just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a background before we get into it because it kind of be spoilers as well that show was lauren michael's baby he was going you know he's taking his friends from second city and wanted to make the show uh on nbc and he wanted it to be very thrown together very satire he was the show was just basically sketches and it was fun and it was supposed and music and they're supposed to be um a point of view of the culture in the 70s and how, the young culture and how it was kind of taking over going into the 80s you know midway through like we are not the we are not our parents culture this is gen x breaking right. away from the the boomers and i think there's a lot of that in this that fits to today's mold and so i think it's a good story to tell today but in the book the you know and, and a little bit of a backstory so if you guys know uh so you guys know if you don't know i'm sorry uh johnny carson ruled the airway nbc was his domain if he didn't want you on you weren't going to be on and if you were anywhere close to his time slot you weren't it wasn't gonna happen and on weekends they would do he would have a show mm-hmm. he want well he wanted a night off he didn't want to do a show on weekends anymore on, on uh saturday nights anymore so they were gonna do um reruns of johnny carson so johnny carson had to give you the blessing to be able to do your show and now that's the perfect representation in this movie and what they're trying to say is johnny carson was the boomer generation so everybody <laughs> loved saturday night live is coming in it's the gen x generation that wants to kind of change things and flip it on its head uh so anybody out there gen z yes gen x did the same things uh <laughs> they, were, they were doing that as well um when they were younger it's just like you were but they get to that point uh uh where now in this movie and i'm he does give obviously give his blessing which is world famous the night of and he did it tongue in cheek like go ahead and put on your little show it's right not gonna happen and as we see this past <laughs> weekend they celebrated 50 years on the air uh so yeah. good on saturday Night live i was always a big fan so this has the old cast recast lauren michaels is uh or not recast but like is being played um i really had fun with this movie mm-hmm. but i don't i don't think it caught the charm of the actual star story as it's been told in the past what do you okay think? so i don't know a lot about saturday night live because i honestly never really got into that show honestly i don't know why i think it's I don't know. It just never clicked with me. So I was interested to see what this was like. Um, it was fun. Like you said, I enjoy that we follow, you know, the director the entire time. So it's, you know, kind of behind the scenes shot, which is a lot of fun, you know, seeing the stress he's going through. One thing works, one thing doesn't. I really enjoyed seeing the actors portraying young Belushi and Chevy Chase and how they acted. And a lot of the dialogue is exactly what I've, I've essentially what I've heard from the interviews I have heard about them in the early days. So it was like, cool. I'm glad you didn't try to sugarcoat this or change this around. And I think you paid the correct homage how you should, how they did Jim Henson was hilarious. That's exactly how, I, Jim Henson has always appeared to me that whole little you even mean, though look, you mean look wise or how he acts both but I, I guess essentially just more how he spoke so I guess more of his uh dialogue his I'm narrative. not judging it yeah. I like no, I, no. I gotta be honest with you I, I, I've heard him in interviews I don't really remember Jim Henson as well as I as much as I do his creations I should say I got you right yeah he's just he's always seemed like the dad of the bunch like he didn't curse things like that like he was very he was a muppet at heart if you will like he just wasn't so like the I didn't realize he started on SNL or he was on SNL. So it's like, oh yeah, I can imagine how it's night and day difference for you. And you probably had a lot of problems with the cast. Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was great. It made me want to give SNL a chance to start from the very beginning and work my way through all the episodes. If I can do that um, just from watching the show. Um, so I don't know necessarily the true story of how much this followed or not. Mm-hmm. But as far as just a movie goer, I thought it was entertaining. Um, yeah. I didn't think it was anything to you know write home to. Like I would never beg people to go see it. But if someone was like, "Is it worth the watch?" Absolutely. Um, rewatchability. I don't know if I would need to watch it again. Um, but I think if if you don't know anything about SNL, I think this definitely opens your eyes and makes you want to watch it. Um, because I think they did a good job building you wanting the show to work. Even though I you know I have no attachments to the show. 
and yeah, I we just celebrate 50 years, but yeah. you wanted the show to work, so they did a good job building it. Not like ah, I don't give a shit if it works or not, or this kid falls on his ass. Like you, no, you yeah, really he definitely. I mean, it, Lauren Michaels is still there. You know, like he left right. for five years in the 80s, uh, and that was the time when Eddie Murphy and that crew came in, mm -hmm. and then when Lauren Michaels came back, <laughs> like the the tail end of it was like included Anthony Michael Hall and Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> like so, like. No, by the time Michael uh, Lauren Michaels comes up, like he kind of gets it back to where he wanted it and like who he was bringing it. Although I don't think that the five years was bad. I, I like that five mm. years. It was just different, okay. you know. So like, I got you. Um, you know, so when he comes back, like we get the the Phil Hartman years, the sound the Samuel years. I watched. I love Saturday Night Live. I wanted to be on Saturday Night Live in high school. I was like, I was like, I just want to do a season of it. It feels like it would be so much fun. Um, you know, the comedy too and all that aspect. So as you can see, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you got I, Tuesday nights. So and I love live. reading about it, watching it. Yeah, Tuesday, that's true. We're Saturday, we're Tuesday night live. You're right. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paul. See, that's what we do here. We're friends building friends up. Yes. Even though <laughs> even though I've I messed with Paul. <laughs> it's out of love, you know. But yes. <laughs> so Saturday Night Live, uh, Saturday Night was a lot of fun to watch. I love that Jason Reitman did it. I love that he did the music. John Batiste helped him, who was playing a character, and I forget what singer he was in the in the movie. Um, uh, he was helping with the music and and like you know, kind of piecing everything together. And they were playing it on set, recording it like they would okay. watching Saturday Night Live. Oh. Uh, so it's not uh, 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 you know dubbed over and, and put in or whatever. Um, so I thought that was a very cool element. It's a very realistic element. I like Nicholas Braun, who did play Jim Henson. He also played Andy Kaufman in the movie. Um, two very stark, different personalities, but innocent yeah, yeah. enough. Right. Coming together, bringing some really cool stuff. Yeah, I like. my only thing is uh, the characters in this, it wasn't a story that like really compelled me to the point where it's like, I need to know what's going to happen. I know this. I know what comes out. Right. <laughs> exactly what's going to happen. Like, you work. It works. Right. So there's no surprise to it. So all the tension's not there from me. Right. You know, I would have preferred rather than build the tension of the 90 minutes, like keep kind of playing mm -hmm. on it, keep talking about it. I'm not saying it can't be a, a part of it and keep playing on the nervousness. I like that when he's talking to his wife, Rosie Schuster, uh, in the movie. Um, and, and all the characters played really, really well uh, in this. But when they're talking and he's talking about how nervous he is and, and, and like stuff and, and things like that, and it's real, it's like, I'm like, I like this more than when all the cast members are just being crazy or saying things because right, that right. almost feels like you're trying to give me caricatures right. of these very real people mm -hmm. that we know them as. Right. Because of Saturday. Uh, I would have preferred maybe a little more in depth. Like, I did like the Chevy Chase stuff with Milton Burrow. Um, mm -hmm. I did like the John Belushi when he's not just sitting there acting like a gruff asshole. Which I know right. he is famously was before, right? But uh, you know, I liked it when he's outside and he like he's thinking about it. You see <laughs> a human element to it. Right. Uh, Lamar Lamorne Mar uh, Morris says, uh, uh, "I am oh, actually no Lamar Lamorne. Uh, I can't remember his last name. He's from The New Girl. Plays Garrett Morris in the movie." Mm -hmm. brought a lot of life to it a lot of character you know so I, I liked a lot of elements to this movie uh but there was no real tension they were trying to build this tense like yeah. moment where i'm like you celebrate your 50th year guys like i mean right i would have preferred more character driven story than uh ambiance driven story right I think. so uh yeah overall I, I thought the acting in this was really well done uh Wilm foe did a good job um uh as the What's his name? I can't think of his name at the but everybody did hands down. I can't remember everybody's name at the moment, but I gave this one a uh I believe you gave this one a um, 3.5, if I remember correctly. I think yes, it. and I gave it a 3.5 as well. Sorry that took so long, guys. Okay. <laughs> I had it written down and I put it in the wrong spot. So um, yeah, so we both gave it a three and a half. I really did. I liked it. I liked how they uh put this together. I almost kind of want one if there's a, a fun story to tell about the 90s cast. Oh, that'd be cool. If there's a fun story, though. Yeah. That's like you, because right. I don't want one person's story mm -hmm. from the 90s where you kind of incorporate everybody. I want something like this where they're talking about Saturday Night Live. So if there's a cool story there, maybe kind of continue these. That'd be kind of fun. I, I don't need a franchise, though. <laughs> like, this was no. fine. When this comes out uh, streaming, uh, we're going to watch it and then we're going to watch the very first episode of Saturday Night Live. Okay. Um, that works for me. Kinda, that sounds like, awesome. Well, no, no, I, I just meant fun. my wife and I. <laughs> We're going to oh, do that for fun. So never mind. <laughs> you can go <come> over. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
but after, yeah, that's what after always- watching this, if, if I could change one thing, I like the actor that played Belushi the whole time. I could not stop staring and saying this should have been played by Jack Black. 100% young Belushi with the hair. And I think the mannerisms, I think, I think you could have gotten a little bit more with Belushi if it had been Jack Black. That's I'll be honest true. with you. I didn't mind the actor, but I felt, yeah, having someone, I, I think, John, I think not John Belushi, um, Jim Belushi, uh, not Jim Belushi. Why am I saying John Belushi <laughs> should have been played by, uh, for me, maybe a Josh Gad. Okay. okay. Just, just, I, I feel because he was so somber throughout. He wasn't being very funny mm-hmm. in this movie. I thought add a dramatic element to it. I don't, I just yeah, didn't yeah. get the facial expressions from this actor. He was like very quiet throughout. Um, and if they weren't trying to put a whole central aspect mm-hmm. to him, I would have been, I, I thought you probably needed a little bit more gravitas in that role. Um, but I did. Yeah, I do agree with you though. I, I, I like what you're saying. I, and Jack Black, of course, would have been great in it too. He does great dramatic. Um, right. <laughs> you know, so I can't, you know, I would not take that away from him, but I have great choices. I don't know why Josh Gad popped in my head when you said that though. I was like, now I can't unsee it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, right. But I, I do that. like Jack, Jack Black as well. But that's our, that's our review of Saturday night. Let us know what you think. Uh, you know, or any of our other, reviews check out the podcast i want to say thank you guys we are still doing our giveaway as you guys can see uh or if you're listening we're doing our um beetlejuice uh uh book of the recently handbook of the recently deceased popcorn bucket and a beetlejuice is like his tie shirt and there's like a topper to it um uh souvenir cup these things are pretty awesome we just did a giveaway for deadpool and wolverine uh sort of similar uh, everybody loved them, so we'll be doing the drawing on October 31st, live. Uh, we'll spin the wheel, and two lucky winners will each take one of these items away. Uh, but you have to be on our Patreon. That's the way to do it. you got to join up on our Patreon, follow us there. Free or paid tiers, it doesn't matter. It will both get you into the giveaway. Also, you will see the episodes of the Scene Stomps podcast because we will be putting up the video there exclusively for the week before it drops on YouTube. Um, so you'll be able to get those early and that goes for lives as well. Live shows will be on YouTube. Uh, and then after that, they're just exclusively over on, uh, Patreon for the, for, for the week. So you can watch them live or you have to go check it out on Patreon. You also get a newsletter, tons of other perks, whether you're paid or free tier and it's a great time. So bye. <music>